Today we are going to look at an electric circuit. So what exactly is an electric circuit? By definition, we should say that an electric circuit simply is a path in which electrons flow. In our diagram here, we have an electric circuit diagram. And of course, this stands for a battery. This battery has two cells. This is a bulb or is a light source. And this is a switch. Now, the, so the meanings of these symbols we covered in our previous video. I hope you watch it. So when we are looking at the flow of current in a circuit like this one, current will always flow from the positive side to the negative side. That is according to the conventional flow of the conventional direction. It's called the conventional direction. That current will always flow from positive to negative. However, the electrons that are actually flowing in the circuit flow from the negative side to the positive side. That's why in my diagram you're going to see, you've seen that the flow of electrons is in this direction and the flow of current is instead in the negative, in the reverse direction. Current is flowing from positive to negative. Now, which is which? You'll find some scientists telling you that actually electricity flows from the negative side to the positive side because it is where the electrons are flowing. And then uh, other scientists will tell you that um, elect uh, actually electricity flows from positive, the, the, from the positive to negative, it is the direction that a positive charge would be flowing in the circuit. In 1947, Benjamin Franklin assigned what we call the positive and the negative in his experiments as he was trying to deal with electrostatic electricity. So in his investigations, for him, he assigned and he said, he concluded in his investigations that electricity actually flows from positive to negative. But during that time, when he was making all these experiments, the electrons had not been discovered, so he did not know that electrons actually uh, existed. And no one at that time knew that electrons existed until after 150 years later, that is in around in 1897, when another physicist, J.J. Thompson, actually discovered that, well, electrons actually do exist, and these electrons flow towards the positive direction. So he comes to a conclusion that is J.J. Thompson that actually electrons from from the negative to the positive and that is supposed to be the direct uh, the, the, the correct direction of flow of electricity. But by the time J.J. Thompson discovered this it had been a space of 150 years since electricity had been discovered. So many books had been written and all these books were indicating that electricity was flowing from positive to negative. So coming after 150 years later to change that actually what we all have been knowing for all this time is wrong. And so electricity instead travels from negative to positive. Changing that would mean it would cause a lot of confusion. And, and well, to, besides, even when people knew that electricity was instead flowing from positive to negative, there wasn't any trouble that had been encountered yet. Discovering later on that actually things electrons from from the negative to the positive was not really going to cause that much of a big difference. Instead, it would just bring more confusion. So what happens is, well, they, they agree, the scientists of the time, they agree that, well, it is true that electrons are flow from negative to positive, but conventionally, we continue with the flow of current to be from positive to negative, as according to what Benjamin Franklin discovered in 19... So it is just a generally agreed convention. That's why it's called conventional current. It's a generally agreed convention that actually current flows from positive to negative. But in actual sense, the flow is of electrons and these electrons flow from negative to positive. With that brief history that I've explained, we know that the conventional current flows from positive to negative, but the actual flow of electrons, it's always in the opposite direction. So in short, we shall conclude by saying that electrons flow from negative to positive and current flows in the opposite direction to the flow of electrons. That is by convention and that is what is generally accepted. So this being our circuit diagram, now we are going to go ahead and connect it physically and 
talk about a few elements of this electric circuit. So first we have this battery. It is positive here and negative there. We have our cell holder right here. We are going to put our batteries in there. So after putting in our cell batteries right there, we... so that's our battery. We are going to connect the negative terminal to this side of the bulb. Looking at this, our wires get out from here. Our positive terminal is right inside there. And our negative is where we are having the spring right there. So it means our positive terminal, which is that one, connects to the switch. This negative terminal to that. So we are just following our circuit diagram. So our circuit has been well connected. We are having our battery here, right there. We have the positive terminal, which so happens to be this one, being connected to the switch. This is our switch. Then we are having the negative terminal right there being connected to this side of the bulb right there. So this side of the bulb which is here is connected to the switch which is right here. So now this is our electric circuit and if our electric circuit is to be, if this bulb is to work for current as it's for the electrons, these electrons actually are flowing from the negative side to the positive side. So for this current to work, for this to work, we need to complete the circuit. Now completing the circuit means that we're supposed to close that switch and right here if you look at our switch we have a gap there. So to close it for this thing to be able to work we get that and we close it and then we close it our bulb is able to light. Maybe I should put off my studio light so that you're able to see what I mean. When I close my circuit when I complete the circuit like that this thing gets to light. When I open the switch the circuit is incomplete when I close it, the bulb will light. Electrons will always flow in a closed loop. They will flow from the negative to the positive. If there is any breakage in this circuit and it's not complete, it means that these electrons are flowing and the connection will be incomplete and so there won't be any. There won't be a complete flow of electrons. Now the question is that how are these electrons able to flow from here? How are they able to move? throughout this conductor, the wire. Now they are able to move because there is a force behind it. There is a force that is causing these electrons to move. And this force is what we are calling the voltage. I, th I want you to think of voltage as a force. So now this voltage across the battery here is what is going to cause those electrons to accelerate through, to come this way. So it means that if you're having 1.5 volt battery or we have 20 volts right here, it means that that is the force by which these electrons are moving. On the other hand, when these electrons are moving, they constitute what we call the flow of current. You know that by definition, we know that current is the flow of charge. So now when this charge is flowing through these wires, this charge will move at, a, at either a very high speed or a very low speed. Now this speed by which these electrons flow is going to be dictated by how much force is right here. If the force, if the voltage here is very high, it means that the electrons coming out will move with a very high speed. They'll be accelerated at a very high speed. If the voltage is low, it means that the electrons flow with a very low speed. Let's look deeper into the voltage and the current. Coming up shortly. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Ranga Kuramia helping you manifest excellence.